The local housing market, while already hot, has only grown in intensity since the start of the pandemic. And so far, all predictions of it slowing down have proved incorrect. Joining us today to discuss is Sue Filipovich, a broker and an owner at Bergen Real Estate. Well, Sue, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Um, we're talking about the housing market, which mm -hmm. is extremely hot right now. So could you maybe just give us an example of uh, what you're seeing out there right now to kind of illustrate it for us? Well, as you know, we're seeing low supply, high demand in right. this market. So uh, there aren't enough houses for the buyers that are out there. Uh, we're seeing multiple offers, uh, prices above asking price, and um, you know we, we just need some more inventory at this point. Right. Well, this is what's been going on for years, pretty much since the start of the pandemic. Pretty much since then, yeah. Okay. So we're going on pretty much the second year. We have not seen it subside at all. Mm -hmm. If anything, it's somewhat elevated in the last six months. And, uh, you know, we keep saying, looking to say, okay, when is this going to just level out? Um, if I only had a crystal ball, then, sure. you know, I can tell you that. But for right now, and I would say in the near future, we're still seeing this as being a hot market. And right now we're getting into our hot season. We've got spring and summer, right. and that is the, you know, the big boom before kids go back to school mm -hmm. in September. Nobody wants to move in the winter in Ohio. Not, not this winter especially, no. I did it, <laughs> <laughs> I actually did it. But, um, so tell us a little bit about what a, kind of what a healthy market would look like and what we are in the middle of right now. A healthy market is six months of supply versus, uh, is actually six months of inventory. Okay. So it's, it's definitely balanced. You've got enough buyers, you have enough sellers. It's a nice competitive market, but not veering one towards one or the other. What do you mean six months of um, Six inventory? months of housing supply. So, sure. um, you know, for the average time for a home to be on the market in a healthy market might be closer to three to four months versus right now it's on the market two or three days. Okay. And, you know, right now it's not giving enough buyers the opportunity to buy a home that they want. They're making, you know, offers on five or six houses before they get the one that get a home that they want. What are some of the, obviously supply is an issue. Mm -hmm. um, so the supply is down, so the prices are way up. Why is supply such an issue here? It would seem that there are lots of empty houses. It would seem that we have some housing stock. Is it that it's in the wrong place? Is it houses are too old? I, I guess what's driving There's a, di a lot of different factors for that. Uh -huh. uh, one of them could be people are staying in their homes longer. Now people are living longer. Um, oh, sure, yeah. You know, and that, which is good, you know, we're, sure. he we're healthier, <laughs> hopefully we're right. exercising and eating, eating better than yeah. we were 30 years ago. More people are working from home now, so they want, you know, they want to stay in their home or provide an op or build an office, uh, maybe an office in the basement. Mm -hmm. So um, they're not as apt to maybe, you know, move away. Um, and the supply as far as being able to um, build homes, as you know, the, with the supply chain and the cost of building materials, it's skyrocketing. Yeah. And uh, we just had actually a, a septic company come in a couple weeks ago and do a training for our agents. And he had said that the price of a pipe that's used for a septic system, and don't quote me on what the name of that pipe is, okay. but a year ago it was $17, now it's $72. Right. So it's just, it's astronomical. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's some lots out there, but land is becoming less and less too because of all the building that was done, you know, in the last 10 years, not just here, but in other parts of the country. Right. So are people just biting the bullet and paying the, the um, increased prices? We're, see we're seeing that. We're seeing, yeah. we're seeing more cash offers now because cash offers are winning out over financed offers. Uh, we're seeing people go to the edge of their maybe comfort level, mm -hmm. you know, if they're being financed, whereas they wouldn't have done that even uh, two or three years ago. Sure. And they have to do it to be able to get into a home. And we strongly would still encourage home ownership uh, just for the sake of, you know, the, your equity that you're building, um, being able to have that ownership in a home and the American dream. Are certain segments of the population being affected more by this? I would imagine 
probably harder on young families just starting out and maybe looking for that starter home or something like that? That's, we are seeing that. Um, an, an example is um, actually, wor I'm working with one of my son's friends and um, 25 years old, mm -hmm. good job, moving back to the area to be closer to family. And I think we've made offers on five, four or five different homes at this point. Nice, good, solid offers. I mean, this is a good buyer. Right. Um, being fair with the offer, above fair with the offer, and getting bid out by yeah. other terms, higher offers, cash offers. Uh -huh. So that is affecting those that might not have as much of a, um, you know, might not have the cash or as much of a down payment. There are things that you're pro that you're going to have to prioritize and maybe compromise on and uh, give up in a sense to you know to be able to be in a home. So it's really important to know that going into it versus going into it blind and just, for example, I think we talked about before the interview here, um, HDTV. I was going to so, say that's right where I was going. Yeah. So that has been. Uh, a misconception if anyone has watched HGTV right and it doesn't always it does not always work like that um, you've got to be able to determine what your priorities are right and re that's the reality of it uh, and in, in this area homes are you know I mean a lot of homes were built in the early 70s mm -hmm. before that it was the 1950s a few in the early early 60s so right now they're at that stage where they're gonna need you know they're gonna need maybe some new mechanicals updated electric we're finding um, a lot of basements with with not foundation issues but more just water seepage I mean mm -hmm. basements naturally have water yeah. uh, or dampness but um, you know that's something that if it hasn't been maintained throughout the years that we're we're running into so buyers need to be prepared that when they make an offer let's look at all these things let's get a home inspection and make sure that it is you know where we need it to be and if it doesn't come out if the inspection fails then we need to be prepared to go you know to the next negotiating step so what we're seeing is um, a home inspection contingency however what what the buyers are offering is a home inspection for informational purposes only and if something comes up that's over let's say five thousand dollars then they would have an opportunity to back out of the contract but the buyer is saying up front if anything comes up I'm willing to pay for it if it's no more than five thousand or three thousand whatever amount there's not a definite sure. amount and that that is more favorable to the seller versus a home inspection that's totally you know if, if a little thing comes up you know it's not as appealing to a seller right but I do want to stress home inspections are highly 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 encouraged so even in this market where yeah, a lot of sellers are saying well this offer doesn't have a home inspection I'm going with that and that, still... happen, that happens but as realtors we're looking out for the best interest of our buyers as far as the right. home that they're getting the last thing that we would want to do is say don't get a home inspection and and then right. something's wrong with the house and you know they're they're in it for 20,000 and they're calling us right so we wouldn't yeah yeah we okay. don't want that to get happen. a home inspection <laughs> so what are people looking for right now as far as um, types of houses as far as well let's start there as far as I guess types of houses what are people looking for we're still seeing well we're seeing a variety we okay. still see a high demand for ranches uh, no matter what age group of the uh, you know of the buyers there are mm -hmm. um, still seeing ranches colonials for families too they like that the two levels with you know the kids in the bedrooms on the second level and then yeah. the living area down below um, so I can't say that it's any particular style the the thing that we do are still are finding is that darn HGTV that's coming in and, uh. and <laughs> buyers still want the cosmetics all nice and pretty and right. you know that does win out over the ones that need updated Right. It's a fact. And don't you get me wrong, it. I watch it. My wife uh, watches it all right. the time, and I got I get sucked into it every once in a while. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. know um, it looks good, and that's okay. I mean that that's good. Let's you know yeah. update these homes. Let's uh -huh. let's do the things that you know are are uh, make it make it right. look nice. So, do you ever watch Love It or List It? Yes. I yes, always say list a, it. I always say I list always it. I always say list it too. <laughs> oh, do you? Okay. I, do. I was like, dude, sell this house, go right. to your dream home, put right. ten, fifteen, twenty thousand yeah. dollars in yeah. your pocket. What are you doing? Yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> but Hillary throws some pillows up, makes it look nice. It doesn't function anymore. You know what I mean? She like took out the closets, so now there's only two bathrooms instead of three. I don't get it. I don't know what they're doing on that show. So, what about locations? Typically, right. what do you have? You have like Poland, Canfield, 
in Mahoning County, probably right. Cortland, Howland, Cortland. And Trumbull. Right. Columbiana is still, okay. um, you know, there, there's a pocket there in Columbiana, especially with their tax abatement, right. which has been really helpful. Um, that was good timing for them. That came out before the pandemic. Right. So it was, it's good that they were all in place for that now, and um, so that's helpful. Right now, what's really interesting in Mahoning County, on the west side, so I just did a quick um, stat on west it. West side of Mahoney West County? side, I'm sorry, west side of Youngstown. Oh, okay. Uh, compared to a year ago, prices are up 15% uh, on the west side, which is a little bit higher than normal, and um, homes are homes are selling there more so than they have in the last couple of years. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, yep. Um, as of today, actually, there's 450 homes in Mahoning, Trumbull, and Columbiana County for sale. In the last 30 days, we've sold 450 homes. Oh my gosh. And when I was looking at that, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's literally, I mean, there's always gonna be houses for sale, but if those were the only 450 homes for sale and then they all sold, there's no inventory. I mean, that's not what happened, but you know, right, cause there's right. always, there, but then they're being listed and they're selling in two days. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's evening, zeroing that out actually. That's crazy. It's very crazy. I have to ask you, how long do you think it's gonna last? Uh, <laughs> or how, how are is, we gonna get out of it? That is the million dollar question. Right. And as I always say, I wish I had a crystal ball for these types of things yeah. because a year uh -huh. ago, year and a half ago, you know, we were saying that by this time things should be kind of leveling out. Right. At, at that time too, we didn't know where interest rates were gonna be. You know, there was speculation that they were going to have to eventually go up. Mm -hmm. But now here today, now we're we're in this spot, and first of all, we're still seeing this strong selling market. Mm -hmm. um, I guess you can you know, say it's strong buying too, but we could be doing more. Uh, where it looks, it I wouldn't even um, begin to predict what it's gonna look like a year from now. Um, I could say in the near future, I, we're still gonna be pretty level this way with how things are going, at least for right. the next six months. Interest rates are affecting some of the buyers because now their affordability has dropped, maybe 10,000, you know, so where sure. they were able to buy before, they, they just can't stretch themselves that much now. So we really don't wanna see the interest rates go up much more, although it's hard to say where that's gonna go. Inflation, of course, eight and a half percent is, you know, that's gonna play a factor. So there's so many things, um, you know, with the world economy that are affecting it that we can't predict. Right. Um, I think here though, and I say this all the time, in our Tri-County area, we're very, very fortunate because people ask me too all the time, is the bubble gonna burst here? I'll go on record and say it's not going to burst. Okay, We great. are, now maybe, you know, if you're in other areas, sure. it has in the past, everybody has, you know, seen what's happened in other states. Right. And here in our, in our area, I think we've been low, lower than the national average for such a long time, we are leveling out. We would be happy if things, as realtors, as consumers, if it would just stay like this. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't think it can go up too much higher. Um, honest, and I'm seeing appraisals come in. I think they're being very conservative, the banks on appraisals, or the appraisers are being very conservative. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing that, um, you know, maybe stay kind of status, status quo as far as the appraisals come in. I, I think right. that they know that they've got to be conservative and not just go crazy if a house is, um, you know, the price is being accepted at say thirty, forty thousand dollars over, and it's financed. You've got to really find good comparables to be able to justify that price. Yeah. Um, you know where we're seeing it not be affected is cash offers because there's usually not an appraisal with that. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs: commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time.